friend of mine. Uh, just moved back to the area, just joined our church. These are his daughters. He's going to be baptizing them. I'm going to turn it over to him and let him share, and then we'll baptize the rest of these folks as well. Brother Justin. I'll try to be brief, but uh, since you don't know us, I'll just tell a little bit about, uh, as Robbie said, Pastor Robbie said, we just moved back to the area from Atlanta, but we're originally from here. Over the last few months, both of my girls uh, have made professions of faith, and they wanted to be baptized, but we wanted to wait until we found a church family. But y'all are a big part of this. Um, as parents are the main disciple makers of their children, but we do it with the church family, and everyone's got a role in that, so we want to make sure that we find a church family who's going to be with us throughout the years and help us nurture them in the faith. So um, we, they have a godly mother that's sharing the gospel with them. We do Bible stories every day, all those things. But the one thing we've always wanted to be clear is just, as Pastor Robbie said this morning, just because your dad's a pastor doesn't mean you're going to believe what we believe. This is what we believe about Jesus. This is why we believe it. I hear people say you shouldn't indoctrinate children. One way or another, you're indoctrinating your children, either in belief or unbelief. So we've tried to talk to our kids about this is who Jesus is. This is why we believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And they've come with questions, and this has been a really long process. Because with children, especially, we're all going to be childlike in faith. We're never going to understand everything about the ways of the Lord. But I want to make sure it's their decision, not something they're doing because their friends were doing or to please mom or dad. So we've uh, we've talked for a long time, and they came to me and, and their mom on their own accord and said, uh, we believe, we're ready to follow Jesus. So this is uh, Gabrielle, my nine-year-old. And Gabrielle, what's your profession of faith? As we discussed and Pastor Robbie discussed this morning, baptism does not save us. It's showing this is what happened. Jesus has washed our sins away. And this is a portrait, and, and we are raised to walk. We are a new creature, the scripture says. Uh, and anyone in Christ is a new creature. So we've explained that to them, and Gabrielle has made the decision to come and to follow Jesus Christ. So, Gabrielle? Yeah. <laughs> Gabrielle, in obedience to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And following his example and obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father. It's the Father that I get a little nervous when it's my own child. I've done this so many times. <laughs> the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I baptize you, my sister. Amen. Amen. This is Addison. Addison's 11. We've been talking about this for a long time. Addison, what is your profession of faith? I want to follow Jesus. You follow Jesus. And she made that decision, and we've seen the evidence of the Holy Spirit in her life. So following the example of Jesus Christ and obedience to his commands of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In baptism, we are raised to walk. Right at the edge of the ramp, and it slipped. This is my buddy Levi. Yeah. Levi's accepted the Lord, and he, as others, is going to tell you.